So now you're dating and you're in this world, you're going on tour with him. And was there a first step of like, oh, this doesn't feel right? <laughs> Literally the first day on tour. The first day, uh, the, after the first concert, I looked around at the, at the world, cause you know, I guess I was like, a, I was a young teenage girl who idolized the music industry and heard that tour was this like magical thing and I was gonna go on this bus ride into like fantasy land. And then like the first night, I, I, it just hit me like a ton of bricks that this was not what I thought it was gonna be at all. And I got scared almost right away that I was in way over my head. But at that point, I had taken so much media abuse and I had, I had put myself on the line to be in this relationship with this person in this very controversial way because I thought I was in love. And then when I started to see it sort of crumble and when he started hurting me and when it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be, I was really in such denial and in too much shame to admit to myself that maybe I'd gone down the wrong path. You know, so there's a great uh, a tactic that, that people like him use, which is called triangulation. And yeah, he did it with, with girls that, that came after me and so on and so on. We realized, you know, that there was a, a real pattern to, to, to how he sets up new relationships and what he does. And he really paints the, the one he's with as, as this kind of crazy, abusive person. And you're his friend and he's like, yeah, man, I'm going through all this terrible stuff with this person I'm with and they're really awful and they make me feel terrible. And they, you know, he, he made it sound like he was in an abusive relationship, you know, and I'm going, oh my God, poor Which is babe. gaslighting. Gaslighting, yeah, poor baby. He did the same thing, uh, he said the same things about me to, to the girls that, that came after me. You know, this, is, this is what he does, you know, I have to paint. This one is crazy so that if she ever comes to you and says, tries to warn you about the behavior, it's already set up that she's crazy. So you're, and, and this went on for years. The, the heart-shaped glasses video, I think really kind of put the pieces of the puzzle together of how much working in an industry where you are required to bear your soul, say yes, do what is asked of you. Right. So right. when you are with your lover and you're making a music video, and you're simulating sex, you know, where do you draw that line? Because it's so confusing. I knew that I was uncomfortable and that something terrible was happening, uh, but it was that, oh God, if, if, if I say anything, I'm gonna get in trouble. It's gonna hurt me, it's gonna hurt my career. I can never tell anybody that this happened. Um, and again, just denial, denial, push it down, push it down. And uh, you know, the hardship class, there's no nudity contract that was drawn up. There was no, you know, if you, normally when you do an explicit sex scene, it's, it's talked about before. And this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna show. This is what we're gonna agree to. The footage will be destroyed afterwards. You sign a contract. You know, that just didn't exist because this wasn't the plan. And, and also, it wasn't until the cameras were rolling that my clothes started being pulled off of me. But I do remember that, that day when things started happening, very specifically having the thought, wait, this isn't a dream. This is really happening. Like I felt like I was in this dream like state. I was so out of it. Um, and it really wasn't, in, you know, I was in such shock when things were happening. Was that also why you stayed with him for years? Because sometimes people will look and go, well, if it was bad, why didn't you leave and get out? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that's the main question we always ask uh, uh, people in, in, in domestic violence situations. Um, and I keep telling people, you know, the fact that we're still asking that question makes me uh, realize just how much work there is to do and how severely misunderstood this issue is and the psychology behind it and how calculated people like him are and how well versed they are in this type of manipulation.